Okay, so this is a, uh, a pretty big deal for me. Not only has it been an absolute honor to work with Heritage Guitars and the guys at Vista Music on a few different projects leading, leading up to this moment, but this is also the guitar I've been dreaming of since since I started playing, quite literally. Long car drives with my dad always ended up talking about guitars like this, ES-335s and other semi-hollow guitars. They were always my dream guitar. There has been a couple of moments when I've been close to getting one, but you know, things didn't quite line up or it wasn't quite the right instrument. And all said and done, I'm really happy that I've waited for this moment because it's made it all the more special getting to know this guitar. What is it? This is a Heritage Guitars H535 Custom Shop Core Collection in Trans Red. <laughs> Bit of a mouthful, admittedly. Okay, Editor Jackson here. Um, I've just come to work on this video and realized I forgot to mention that I do actually have a affiliate link, an affiliate link, and affiliate code if you want to shop some Heritage Guitars at Dawson's Music. If you go to dawsons.co.uk forward slash Jackson or use code Jackson at checkout, you get a bit of money off your purchase. And I also get a little bit of kickback. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd mention it. If you like the look of this Heritage Guitar or anything else, please use that code or that link. I'll leave it down below as well in the description. It would really help me out. All right, back to the video. It's fairly obvious where the roots of this guitar come from, um, but it is pretty much the best of what Heritage, Heritage Guitars can make. It's top of their range, basically, which kind of gives me shivers just to say. If you watched my video from a few weeks back when I had a look at the Goldtop H150 that was also custom shop, um, you'll remember some of the vantage, advantages that you get from going custom with Heritage. And some of my favorite things from that guitar have carried over to this one as well. Namely, uh, the vintage gloss nitrocellulose finish. That is just so, so nice. It's not necessarily aged, but it has a softer, more played in feel. That is so luxurious. Secondly, Heritage's own 225 PAF humbuckers are in all the custom shop models and they are superb. Some of my favorite PAF humbuckers that I've tried. They sounded great in that gold top and they sound still excellent in this 535. And of course, at the core of Custom Shop, you get the best woods that they can get their hands on. And this is even more evident in a guitar like this compared to the gold top because not only can you see the flame of the guitar through the finish, but also I think a bigger bodied semi-hollow has a more naturally woody feel and sound anyway. Before I gush over this guitar anymore, I think we just need to get some tones real quick.
If you're enjoying this video so far and you like anything else that you see on this channel, it would really help me out if you would go subscribe. 90% of my regular viewers are not subscribed. So if you think about if we can start bringing that number down, this channel would really blossom, I think. And uh, yeah, so it would really help me out. Falling in love with this guitar was pretty instantaneous. I've actually had it for a couple of months now and kind of kept it a little bit of a secret just while other things took center stage on the channel for a bit. Not only is this guitar sp spectacularly crafted and sounds incredible, but just playing a bigger bodied guitar like this is a more visceral and emotive experience. I think it's gonna sound a little corny, but because it is a bigger body and because it does vibrate more, it also resonates something inside of the player as well. It's an experience that kind of does bridge the gap between an acoustic guitar and electric guitar. It's bigger and louder like an acoustic, but it's familiar like an electric guitar. It's a guitar that's just as at home playing unplugged on the sofa as it is plugged into a massive amp rig. One thing I have noticed about getting to know this guitar is how full the low end is. And it's not a, it's not a um, sort of woolly, flubby low end that you would just shelve off an electric guitar once you get it in a mix. It's a natural blooming low end that expands and kind of blossoms as you let chords ring out. And it's the sort of thing you can only get from a construction like this. I mentioned that these are the same Heritage 225 PAF humbuckers that were in that H150 gold top I had a few weeks ago. I loved them in that, and I think I love them even more in this. It's a good sign of a great pickup when they bring the best out of the guitar that they're installed in. The presence, the clarity, touch sensitivity, and dynamic response are all here but they are ready to bite and snap at you when you want it to. The rest of the guitar is reasonably close to uh, vintage or how it would have been in the late 50s and early 60s. The dimensions, the carves, the colors are all pretty close to those guitars. The neck, for example, is a chunky 50s C profile that is gonna be really good for those people who do like a bigger, more vintage neck, but isn't so uncomfortable that it would be difficult to play for people with smaller hands. I love the feeling of this neck and the feeling of that vintage gloss nitrocellulose just helps give the impression that this is an old guitar that's been left under someone's bed for 50, 60 years. You know, I've, I've only had it for, like I said, a month or two and the finish is already sort of buffing and getting a little uh, more satin in places where I'm playing. And but for me personally, I love that. It's already becoming my guitar in that sense.
have been pretty gushy about this guitar and truthfully it is all genuine. I really think it's going to be with me forever and who knows if a future Jackson Jr. wants to play guitar then this will one day be theirs. Is there anything that I don't like about it? Um, no, I can't think of too many things at all. It all comes together in a really wonderful package. If I was being super nit nitpicky and really nitpicky that is, I don't think Heritage quite have the plastics choices nailed down. For example, the rest of the guitar is extremely vintage inspired. You know, I love these small block inlays. I love the sort of vintage white yellowed binding. And then they go and put sort of more modern black knobs on it. I think maybe some vintage top hats would have looked better here, but that's a really small thing. Same with the switch tip, actually. Maybe that would have been nice if that matched the binding, like I've seen on a few 60s examples. But as I said, these are all tiny, tiny things. And if, I've, if I really cared about it that much, I could get a new knobs, new knobs and a new switch tip for like just over a tenner. So. Go figure. Other than that, I am truly in love with this guitar. It's pretty much flawless for me. It's a, it's an, a, an amazing instrument made to the absolute highest standards by some of the best people in the industry. And uh, I'm extremely fortunate to get to play it. It's been a long time coming, literally over a decade, and I'm absolutely smitten by this thing.